So checking voltage on your PWM line, this applies for both electric and hydraulic pumps. If I run my pump system here, right now I have a normal operation where my lights are good on my PWM driver, the pump system is functioning, we should be good. On this signal line to the PWM, this voltage will vary. So if I were to, while this is plugged in, if I were to back probe in here, I, my voltage might be eight volt or nine volt, uh, staying locked into my target rate. But as soon as I unplug it, what the controller is gonna do, oh, I'm not seeing flow. I know how to solve the problem. I'm gonna send more voltage to the pump. I'm gonna make the pump spin faster thinking that's how I'm gonna see flow. So say if you have a scenario where this is plugged in, um, but you're not getting your signal lights here indicating that the pump is running or on a hydraulic pump, if you turn it on on the controller and the pump's not spinning and your hydraulics are turned on and they're not reversed, um, you can get your voltmeter and you might have a yellow and green wire. It's okay if your voltmeter is on backwards. Um, yellow will be your positive, green will be your negative. In this case, white is positive, black is negative. I'm going to put my voltmeter on 12 volt DC. I'm going to check my voltage. And right now I have 11.6 volt. Uh, you might have 12 volt, 12.4 volt. Either way, it's trying to max out. So right now I do have voltage on the line. So I know that my harnessing is good. My PWM is probably the problem. Say if I did not have voltage on that line, let's say in this case, I'm gonna turn my controller off. We'll pretend that my controller is turned on right now and the pump should be running. If I check for voltage on that line while I tell that pump to turn on, and I have no voltage there, 0.1 is basically zero volts. So if I have no voltage there, then I know I have a problem with my harness, either voltage isn't getting through to the PWM, so we do not know to turn on, or the rate controller itself isn't sending voltage out because there is either a problem with the rate controller or maybe your implement switch is in the way, is uh, stopping the signal from being sent out, or it's some other setting. So a couple of different things to look for on that PWM side.